Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to POR Powerhouse video number six, which is a quick little video that I wanted to create in order to get everybody on the same page before we dive into the second half of the workload that we have ahead of us. So this video is called Planning the Funnel, which is the PLR product funnel that we discussed earlier. And in this video, what we're going to do is just uh, walk through the steps of the uh, PLR funnel again very quickly so everyone can understand why we're doing what we're about to do in the next few videos. So like I said for the PLR product uh, funnel you're going to need to structure the mini site you're about to create and other tools as well that we'll talk about to have the PLR product funnel ready and running on autopilot. Once you have this PLR product funnel running on autopilot all you have to do is just drive traffic uh, to the squeeze page and things literally take care of themselves. These uh, funnels can get pretty sweet and when you start setting up quite a few of them and driving traffic to them, you're basically earning money, uh, earning money by sitting on your couch. It's, it runs completely on autopilot. It's probably one of the best sources of income out there. And all the while you're building a list which is a great asset for any internet marketer. So you probably remember this. Uh, as you can see, the squeeze page will have a free niche report. And the squeeze page also can sometimes point uh, people to the sales page for the paid product. And when people subscribe, your list grows. As your list continues to grow, uh, autoresponder emails are dispatched to every new member. And those autoresponder emails will uh, direct people to both uh, after they give, I'd say after they give value and give information and get the subscribers interested in what you have to say, then you can start uh, monetizing them by taking them to the sales page for your paid product a second time. You can also take them to your affiliate product. Additionally, that free report of niche info that we had on the squeeze page can also uh, contain links that can take your to take the readers to the sales page for your paid products and to affiliate product X that has uh, that you've decided on using. The way that you monetize your users is of course through affiliate products and sales page sales. And then it's pretty much once it runs on autopilot you're just making money just by uh, taking people through the funnel they go automatically through. So what does this mean? To, uh, so how can we be ready for action? Well, we're going to need a niche report ready, and that depends, uh, it partially depends on whether you have it or not. That whether you have it or not right at this point depends on you, because as you remember, we created a PLR product in the previous videos. However, we have to get to determine on whether you want to use that as a free niche report or you want to use that as a paid product. In most instances, I would recommend using your PLR course as a paid product. However, if for some reason you don't feel like setting up a squeeze page, you can then use uh, the PLR product you made as a free lead magnet to, uh, as the temptation for people to sign up on your squeeze page. So it pretty much it partially depends on uh, whether you want to have a sales page for a paid product or not. Next, you're going to need to set up HTML pages, which are squeeze and sales pages. We'll go over that. It's not very difficult to do. And I'll, we'll take you through the steps of it. Uh, we'll take you through the steps one by one. You're going to need to set up an autoresponder and automatic emails. Again, that's not very difficult to do. Uh, I think an autoresponder is an asset that every internet marketer uh, worth his salt should have, because uh, building a list is, like I said, is very crucial to success in internet marketing. Uh, once you have a list, you're basically able to make money from anywhere at any time just by clicking the send button in your inbox. It's magical, it's amazing, it's, uh, it's all the true perks of making money online. Finally, you'll, go, you'll need to choose an affiliate program as well if you, uh, if you can find one, if you want to find one that you can roll with. We'll go through affiliate programs and uh, what they are. Affiliate programs, uh, to give you in a nutshell, 
or basically other people's products that you want to choose to promote for your list. So for example, if I had a list that's interested in saving electricity, what I could do is offer them uh, affiliate products about solar energy and about ways to save energy even more, even ways for them to create their own energy all from home and like and save money, to take their, taking their save savings to the next level. So that's something that they would be uh, interested in. However, it's not your product. You just get affiliate commissions for promoting it and taking them to uh, the affiliate's landing page. Once they are on the affiliate's landing page, affiliate then uh, has to do the job of converting them. So you just, in a way, you're, you're pre-selling them. You don't have to tell them, uh, go here and click buy. Just say, um, this worked for me, click here and check it out. So as you tell uh, your email subscribers to check this out in your email, uh, they get interested and they click on the links. Just remember, for affiliates, for working with affiliate programs, all you're doing is pre-selling not actually selling. Let the affiliate vendor take care of selling uh, on, their, on your behalf. That's the way it works. And you just get affiliate commissions for promoting to their pages. Now let's go over this report and product again. It depends on the way you want to operate your funnel. The two aspects of things are the lead magnet, which is another word term for the niche report. Basically a lead magnet uh, is the, the piece of bait that you're dangling in front of your potential subscriber on the squeeze page because they won't give your name they won't give you their name and their email right off the bat you've got to tempt them so you wave the lead magnet under their nose and they uh, subscribe to get it once they subscribe to get it that lead magnet of course is equipped with uh, potential sales links and ways to make money so it all, again, it all depends on whether you uh, want to have a sales page or not. I recommend having a sales page. You don't necessarily have to create that sales page and have a product to sell, but you do need a niche report or lead magnet of some kind. For that, for the slot of that lead magnet, uh, you could use a PLR product that you've worked on already, or for the slots of the product that you're going to be selling on your sales sales page, you could use a PLR product that you've already worked on. What I recommend is if you want to have a sales page, what you should do is use the PLR product as a product that you're selling and create a quick and easy little uh, sale and uh, create, uh, create a quick and easy little uh, lead magnet or niche report to give out to subscribers for free. Now the niche report and subscribe the niche report and the lead magnet should include links to the sales page if you do choose to create a sales page and or the affiliate products if you do include uh, if you do choose to include affiliate product links. Next what you have to do is also create web pages. Now to create web pages you have a couple of options. One is to edit the web pages and files that were included in your PLR course that you brought that you purchased at the beginning of this. If you still do have that uh, if the PLR course that you purchased came with a web page file. If it didn't, that's all right. You can make them from scratch. Uh, we, as you probably remember, we went over editing graphics previously in Photoshop and uh, GIMP. Well, those images that we've edited will now come in handy as we create uh, web pages, either from scratch or from an uh, existing template. So again, the options you have is one is edit the index, the index slash confirmation and whatever pages that you received with your PLR course. The second is to create your own from scratch using the images and graphics that we've already gone through. We'll go over a free uh, HTML editor program that can do this for us. It's really easy and really simple to use. Now note that in the PLR funnel that I showed you before, if we go back for a moment, uh, you can see that a squeeze page for free niche report is included, a sales page for the, page, uh, product, the paid product is included. Those are the two most critical web pages that we will be creating, uh, the sales page and the squeeze page. However, there are probably some other quick web pages that we're going to make as well. Uh, those are really simple. Again, those are pretty simple to make. Now, like I said, we're also going to need an autoresponder subscription. When you have a subscriber on your list, uh, when the subscriber signs up through the squeeze page, you have them for life, meaning that you can contact them as a, c a customer 
slash buyer slash subscriber again and again. This is why people rave uh, so highly about building lists in internet marketing. When you have a big list, it can lead to some pretty significant income. In fact, email lists are one of the oldest and most respected sources of income in internet marketing. Uh, you can simply relax and you can send them emails once you're sending them emails from the Caribbean or wherever you want to go if you want to go on a vacation somewhere and send them an email while you're uh, backpacking through Europe it doesn't matter uh, email lists are accessible from anywhere therefore you can uh, make money from anywhere and that's actually that's a really big perk of building an email list so that's why I love uh, to suggest that you build an email list now when the subscriber does subscribe the pre-written autoresponder emails that we've already have locked and loaded in the funnel and ready to go are automatically dispatched to their inboxes. One first, the first step is to offer value before you can ask for anything you have to give something first. So offer value and then you can monetize folks afterwards. Finally let's go back over affiliate programs. They're a great extra source of good income to make money on the side. In addition to advertising your product sales page in your emails, you can also advertise affiliate products uh, through uh, other vendors. It's a nice way to get some money consistently flowing into your bank account on the side. So if, for example, if somebody doesn't want to buy the product on your sales page, but you send him a link to an affiliate program that he's interested in, you can make money that way. Now I know that all this sounds like a lot of work, but it's not too bad. Once your funnel is operating, it's hands-off, easy, autopilot income. It's really, uh, once you get it all set up properly and you get it converting well, you're good to go. You're making money around the clock. All you have to do is drive traffic to it and then you're literally uh, making money while you sleep, money while you're at the grocery store, money while you're out at a ballpark. You can make money anywhere. So let's go. Let's get this set up.